Hello! It's Alex here, I'm in the office. Well, I say office, it's the corner of my bedroom. And it's story time. This is gonna be a bit of a different video to what I usually do, um, but I wanna share this story. And this story is about sinusitis. Now, if you suffer with sinusitis, it's a medical condition, by the way. If you suffer with sinusitis, you will know what it is. You'll know exactly what it is. For those of you that don't suffer with sinusitis, then this video probably isn't that interesting to you. Um, but let me explain what it is. Basically, in your head, in your face, you've got these cavities, holes, <laughs> full of air, like behind your cheeks here and in your head here, across the eyes. They're filled with air and they help with breathing and stuff, I think. I'm no doctor, but yeah. Generally, you don't notice them um, until maybe you get a cold or something and then you might get a bit of discomfort here and here. But anyway, sinusitis is when you have a lot of pain in your sinuses. So you get like these horrible headaches across here and here and in your cheeks and sometimes it goes over the top of your head like, like that. You get pain across there and here. And, yeah. A lot of pain. God, the, the sun is very bright today. I'm looking very pale. Anyway, so yeah, I have been suffering with sinusitis since May last year. It's now January of this year. And well, it got really bad. It got really bad. And I want to share my story because now in January, it's not too bad. In fact, it's very good. I can live with it. It's not completely gone, but I'm not taking painkillers every day, which is what I was doing before. So anyway, let me start at the beginning. Back in May, uh, I was on holiday in Norfolk in the UK and started getting like this weird feeling behind my eye uh, and down my cheeks. And then that progressed into severe pain, like so painful that it was in fact waking me up in the middle of the night with this pain. The only way to kind of dampen it was to take ibuprofen. Uh, I tried like sinus sprays and all that kind of stuff. Didn't really work. Um, so yeah, uh, it got pretty bad. But I thought, you know, I, people get sinusitis all the time, a couple of weeks, whatever, it should, should move on, should pass. So after a couple of weeks, it hadn't passed, it hadn't gone. And at that point, it was getting really bad and I was also getting pain in all of my teeth. My teeth were all hurting. Oh, it's horrendous, it was horrible. So I thought, I need to get this sorted. I need to get it sorted. And obviously it was during COVID and all that, and it was really hard to see a doctor. But anyway, I booked a telephone consultation with a doctor. I also booked an appointment with a dentist. I, I went for a private dentist, because again, the dentists, the NHS dentists were, were useless. So you couldn't really see one. And anyway, so the doctor said, okay, yeah, sounds like sinusitis. Um, but yeah, you should probably go and see the dentist as well. I'm gonna prescribe you an antibiotic. The antibiotic was doxycycline because there's probably an infection up in your sinuses. So you need to clear that out. Um, go and see the dentist, see what they say. And if, um, if they say it's okay to have the antibiotic, then I take the antibiotic. I thought it was a little bit weird. But anyway, I went to see the dentist and the dentist gave me a full X-ray and all that kind of stuff. And she could see that there was like some gungy stuff coming up and all around here. Um, on the x-ray of my mouth. So um, she said, yeah, you've, got, you've basically got some gum disease going on there and you know, possibly an infection in, in your tooth at the back there. That could be connected to your sinusitis, could be. Uh, and also your wisdom teeth are, are making it really difficult for you to clean your back teeth, which is probably why you're getting the gum disease. So we should probably take out your wisdom teeth. So, okay, well, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever because at that point the sinusitis was daily particularly bad in the afternoons. I was taking paracetamol and or ibuprofen every single day, which obviously is not a good idea for long periods of time. So yeah, I went, okay, let's do the wisdom teeth. So I had to have three wisdom teeth taken out. Had it done under sedation, let's say in a private dentist, it wasn't actually that bad. I didn't even know what was going on. I literally went in, sat down, they did the sedation and then I was like, okay. And then it was like, Mr. Cooper, it's time to go. What, well, you've done it? And they'd done it, I didn't remember a thing. Although apparently I was awake. Anyway, I had the, uh, the wisdom teeth out, which was a couple of weeks of, of uncomfortable healing and um, still getting sinusitis. Um, so went back to the dentist and 
she had a further, and she said the tooth at the back there, like the one that was next to the wisdom tooth that had come out, that has probably got an abscess in it or some sort of infection. And there's a possibility that it's leaking through into your sinus and causing the infection. So I was like, okay. So she's like, so maybe we need to do a root canal on that. So I'm like, okay, so I booked him for a root canal, which was actually two appointments. And I had to see a specialist guy to do that, a specialist root canal um, dentist surgeon person. So I went to see him and that was an interesting process of uh, drilling into the tooth and scraping out all the insides and stuff. But I was a little bit disheartened when I saw him because he said that he's, he hasn't seen a sinus problem from a root, uh, from a tooth problem and that root canal probably won't fix it. Hang on, let me get my teeth. Cheers. So that, ah. Uh, however, I've been doing some research online and I had seen that there was a connection between bad teeth and sinusitis. But anyway, I had the root canal done and I was hoping that after that, the sinusitis would just like magically disappear. Oh, and I should also say that the, anti um, the dentist had also prescribed me a three week course, maybe a two week course of antibiotics, or two antibiotics, which I took and, and didn't, they didn't actually do anything. I can't remember what the names of them were, but it was the one that you can't drink with. So that was annoying. <laughs> so, uh, I was feeling a little bit downhearted. So I phoned up the doctor again and said, look, I've had all this stuff done. I've had root canals, all sorts of things done, and I've still got this sinusitis. And they went, again, I didn't get to see a doctor at NHS it was. They said, okay, what we'll do is we'll book you in for a CT scan. And we'll, you know, have a look at your head, in your head, and see what the heck's going on. And by the way, I should say the sinusitis was only on one side. This side, the side that allegedly had a bad tooth, the side that had the root canal. So went for a CT scan. And um, that was actually pretty quick on the NHS. They had it in a couple of weeks and uh, well, here you go, take a look, that's the CT scan. And as you can see, one side looks different to the other. Um, I, I will annotate it now with an arrow so you can see what's what, but basically one side has got air in it, which is healthy. One side is full of um, pus, let's say pus. Mucusy, pussy, horrible stuff. Um, so I was like, okay. And um, the doctor phoned me and said, um, we've had a look at your CT scan. It looks like you've got nasal polyps, which are like little things that grow up your nose and can block your sinuses and cause problems. So I'm like, okay. She was like, but we're gonna refer you to a ENT specialist, ear, nose and throat specialist to kind of look at your scan in more detail and, and stick a camera up your nose and have a proper look. So I was like, okay, great. This was back in um, November, I think it was. So, you know, I've been living with the sinusitis for a good few months by this point, and it was really starting to bring me down, I've got to say, having constant pain in your head every single day. So she's like, yeah, we're going to refer you to the ENT. Um, that's fine. So I got a, a letter from the ENT consultant, and he said, okay, I've got your appointment booked for October. October? This was November, so the appointment was October this year. You know. Ages away. I can't wait till October. I can't wait another year with this. I can't live with this for a year. And they're like, okay, so um, you can go private if you want. You want to go private? I was like, well, I, uh, I have to. <laughs> I need to get this sorted. I mean, I'm, I'm not doing too bad. So I'm starting to pay for healthcare now. Especially now I live in Spain. Paying for healthcare is kind of normal. So like, yeah, okay, we'll go private. So she referred me to the ENT consultant, who I think is probably the same consultant that does the NHS work, but on a Friday he does a private clinic in the NHS hospital in Bedford. So yeah, referred me privately. I got an appointment the next week, of course, in the NHS hospital, but it was two hundred and fifty pounds or whatever for the appointment. Maybe it actually might have been a bit more because I had the, uh, the, the whatever you call it, endoscopy, endoscope thing up your nose thing. Anyway. Man, I look too bright. I should have adjusted the camera setting. I hope you don't mind. Hopefully the, the story is good enough. Went to see the guy. As soon as I walked in, he had my uh, CT scan up on his uh, computer. And as soon as I walked in, he said, it looks like you've got a sinus infection from a bad tooth. I was like, yay, we're on the same page here. That's what my dentist thought. And that's why I've had a root canal and my wisdom teeth out and all that dentistry work. It's cost thousands. Um, 
he was like, yeah, it looks like this tooth, which is, and he pointed to the tooth on the scan, which is the tooth that had the root canal. It looks like that tooth has had a problem and that the infection has gone up into your sinus. I was like, great, but you know, I've had the root canal, I've had all the dentist work, why have I still got sinusitis? He's like, mm, okay, let's have a look. So yeah, he sat me down, he got this thing out, went up my nose, a little, little bit more careful than that. And he showed it to me on the video screen. And first of all, he went up the good side. Oh, that's better, the sun's gone. He went up the good side, and um, it all looked fine. And then he went up the bad side, and yeah, it was all full of horrible white pussy stuff. Ugh. So um, yeah, cut a long story short, he um, he said, yeah, that's the problem. We're going to need to um, have some more antibiotics. So it was doxycycline again, and some nasal steroid drops every day, dripping it up the nose, actually lying back on the bed and squirting out the nose doxycycline every day for six weeks. Bear in mind, I took that same antibiotic before for one week and it did kind of help, I should have said back then. It did kind of help a little bit, but didn't cure it. So, cut a long story short, took it for six weeks and did the drops and by the end of it, you know, that combined with the root canal before, it's, it's better. I can still get the odd feeling of it now and again, but it's not that painful. So, if you're suffering with sinusitis, the message of this story is um, you should go to the dentist and it might be your teeth. <laughs> That's my story. I've got to go. I've got to go and do the school run. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.